Hey everybody! So I am here to give you the craft for this week. Um, this week we'll be talking about Saul and his conversion to Paul and how he met the Lord on the road to Damascus and how the bright light shined down upon him. So today we will be making um, a sort of a game. Um, this is one that I've already done. I'll show you how to do it in a minute. It's a paper cup and we've got a yarn and a pom-pom. And so the kids can, after they make it, they can they just flip it up like this and they try to catch it. And it's just like a little toy game. Um, but this is the light that shone down on Paul. So they're trying to get the light to shine on Saul, actually, um, on the cup. So let me show you really quickly how to do it. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm just taking a paper cup and you can just use your scissors and kind of poke like a small hole and then, or not a hole, but like a, just a slit. And then your craft stick will do most of the work for you. You can just press it in here, um, pretty easy. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, this will be the hardest part, especially for the kids and the younger ones. So probably need quite a bit of help. So while you're helping some of them, they could color their cup, decorate it. They could be coloring um, their picture of um, Saul uh, or Paul or whatever. Mine, I actually did like some yellow at the top so it looks like there's a light shining down. Um, they can do some of that while you're helping <laughs> with the other kids. Um, so the hardest part will be tying the pom-pom onto the yarn. And the way I did it is almost like you're doing a gift wrap where you want to have it um, go down and around again. So I started with one side, then you go um, around to the other side and you kind of twist it so that you would like you would be going around a box. So let me show you. It's hard to see with the pom-pom there. But you have two sides, you twist and come around. Um, and then you tie it at the top. That way it has four sides uh, tied. Otherwise, I mean, you could just tie it around once, um, but this way it might stay on a little better. So kind of like you're tying a package. Um, and then after you get it tied on there, you can go ahead and trim the little bits of extra. So you've got just a ball here and then you're gonna take your craft stick. Whew, that sound. Um, you can tie it around and then go ahead and tape it to make sure that it stays on really well because it's just gonna slip off. But I would tie it first and then just use a little bit of tape and tape it on there so it's nice and secure it's probably gonna come off at some point anyway because kids are a little rough on things, but that's okay. Um, and then you'll stick it from the inside through so that your yarn and ball are on the inside. So you go ahead and stick it through and then you have a little cup and game. And the longer you make the yarn, the harder it's gonna be for the kids. So for some of the younger ones, maybe this length is good. For some of the older ones, you can make it a little bit longer and then they can just flip it up and catch it and that is our craft for this week